I'm now going to convert this design into a non-sequential design so that I can do all the uh, final image performance and stray light type uh, work. Uh, I've changed to using the shaded model from the, the 2D layout because once we change to non-sequential uh, ray tracing, uh, we're working with 3D solids and it's, it's better to be working with that kind of approach here. I can still see the, the cross-sectional layouts if I want. Uh, it's just a click away, but this is generally a more useful plot. A couple of things I want to do before I convert is that I have a couple of dummy surfaces here and I want to be sure that they come across in the design. Um, the way I do that is I click on the first of my dummy surfaces which is this film plane and in the property inspector on the aperture tab I'm just going to tell Optic Studio to put a circular aperture on that surface so that uh, it knows that I this isn't just a placeholder surface, this is something I actually want. And I'll do the same thing on surface 14. Uh, it actually has its own surface aperture already on there, so that, that that's good. Um, so I'm now ready to convert this whole design over. And so all I need to do is move to the File tab, where all the file conversion utilities are, and use Convert to Non-Sequential Group. And I'm going to start from the first surface and go through to the last surface. And I'm going to convert the whole design to a non-sequential design. I'll just press OK. And the non-sequential component editor opens up for me. The shaded model I was looking at here is showing the same things, but now as a... Uh, as a um, non-sequential system. I have everything that I had before uh, on here and I'm ready to start doing my non-sequential design with my projector now set up in a fully non-sequential uh, mode where the surfaces have been replaced by individual lens objects.